Hey everybody, today we are gonna learn how to make a really cool bottle opener that we can be proud of and we can show our friends that we made something every time we crack a cold one. So let's get to making. All right, now that we have our three inch long by half inch wide piece cut out, we're gonna mark this for our bottle opener opening. So now with our brass cleaned up and with our bottle opener body cleaned up, we're going to be able to start drilling, measuring and drilling so we can make holes for our bottle opener. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark my brass here where it's going to meet up with the face of the bottle opener just so I have a good reference mark. So now I've got a little reference mark there. It doesn't need to be anything deep, just something so I know where to go. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark out my holes to drill here. These holes are gonna be drilled at 9 64ths of an inch. Now I'm using some six by one half brass screws. So the correct drill bit for these that's what's gonna work great is the 964. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark these and then drill. I'm gonna mark this first hole at a half inch in, and then I'm gonna mark the second one at a half inch in from that mark I made where it meets up to the face here. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing for our, our material that we're using for the body, in this case, the micarta. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna do a center scribe down it, and then I'm gonna be able to mark my holes, and I'm gonna drill these. Now the holes for here 
I'm going to wind up drilling to an eighth of an inch. This micarta is a really tough material, really strong. And when I get to screwing those brass screws down, if I make that hole too small and it gets too tight, it's going to snap those brass screws. If you use stainless screws or something, or if you're using a softer wood, that probably won't be a problem. But for my case, using micarta, if I don't have these holes drilled out pretty wide, then it will snap those screws off whenever I go to tighten them down. Alright, now it's time for the fun part. We're going to start mocking this thing up. So we're going to put our screws in. That way we can hold these two pieces together. And then we can start shaping this to what close to what its final shape is going to be. All right, we are screwed together. So now let's clean this up, get everything as even as we can. Okay, now, now that we've got that ground smooth, we're going to grind this brass piece down so we've got about an eighth of an inch. You can maybe go a little bit more, but we're going to try to go to an eighth of an inch here. We're going to grind that down too. That's going to give us a good ledge to lift caps. So let's see what we got. We are just a little over an eighth inch, which is great. So now that we got that ground down to the eighth of an inch, we are going to start shaping this guy. All right, now that we got this guy rough shaped, we got the shape here, we have our angles down, we're actually gonna unscrew this and we're gonna cut out a notch here, being sure not to cut into our, our hole that we drilled for our screw and leave enough room so we still have some strength here. So that way we can put a keychain, a leather lanyard, whatever we want on here so we can hang it from our keys, hang it from a hook in the kitchen whatever you want. So let's go ahead and take it apart. We're gonna cut that out. And then after that, we'll start smoothing off all these edges. Okay, so we have that cut out, we have it notched. We're going to go ahead and start cleaning that inside up so we can bolt the brass back up and then we'll shape everything, smooth it all out.
All right, we are bolted back together. We have our keychain hole, and we are ready to clean this guy up. Let's go for it. All right, so we got all our edges smoothed off. Everything's nice and easy to grab onto, no hot spots. So now that we've got that done, we can start polishing this guy up, get it all cleaned up, put our finishing touches, and it'll be ready to go. Let's get it cleaned up. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Let's give it a test. And look at that, a thing of beauty. Well, I hope you all enjoyed watching that video and learning as much as I enjoyed making this guy. This bottle opener was a fun project to do and I enjoy showing you the process of how you can make your own. If you like this video, you know the deal. Like, subscribe, follow this channel. I would appreciate that greatly. Also, you can check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Ballman Knife and Tool. And you can check out my website and the things I make and I sell at BallmanKnifeandTool.com. So I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you get to making.